Buenos dias, buenos noches, buenos dias. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're well. Today we're jumping right into this video and it is a quick weave install. So, what you see me here, huh? English, take two. What you see me doing here is just creating like a foundation. So, it's like a fake braid. Um, it actually stems from the origins of Africa. It's a twist out method. Well, it's not really a twist out, it's a threading method whereby you get your hair and wrap it around in thread. Um, people actually use this to stretch their hair, but I use it as a foundation to braid when my hair is too short to actually cane row. I actually only did this at the front and then just said, you know what, this is kind of long and proceeded to carry on with a quick weave. So here you see me putting on two weave caps and I don't have the Robert Shield sealant thingamajig, so I just went in with a really strong cold hairspray. Um, the one I used is from Bedhead, I ordered it on Amazon, and then I proceeded to start gluing the tracks. So first thing you want to do is just size up the track, cut it, apply a layer of glue, and then you want to position that exactly where you want it to go. And once you've placed it onto the stocking cap, just go back in with some spritz or some hairspray, just because it helps to seal it in. And you wanna continue doing this until you get right up to the top. Um, and as you start to get to the middle, such the top, you wanna to start curving the tracks so that they fall on your face. This just allows for a, a nicer install and a nicer finish. If you don't curve them, they just become so straight and it just doesn't look as natural. So I definitely recommend curving them as you get to the top. Yeah, this is at this point, I decided to cut the wig cap. I probably should have cut it before because this caused a lot of tension on my hair when I when I cut it here. Um, but after I did that, I went in with some mousse on my real hair and I then went in with my blow dryer just to press that out. Or should I say blow it out? And then once I would you know, blow dried my hair to the degree or level that I was happy with. I then went in with some heat protector and went in with a hot comb. My hair is really short as you can see, so I had to make this work. And the fact that I could, I pulled this off, I was like, boy, it's okay. Because I cut my hair and I absolutely hate it. But you know, this is why we are fabulous because we just always think of new styles Here I'm just pressing it out and I'm just curling it or curving the straighteners at the bottom. And then I go in with the razor comb to just add a few more layers and frame it a bit more. But yeah, this is pretty much how it came out. So if you did like the video, do leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe. And adios amigas, buenos noches.